Hello mat lovers! Welcome back to my channel! For the newcomers, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and click the bell button for more updates of my videos. Okay mat lovers, now we will be having another important factoring technique in mathematics and that will be all about factoring by getting the common monomial factor. Here is our example in factoring by getting the common monomial factor. We have here 18xy minus 3y equals the quantity of 3y times the quantity of 6x minus 1. Of course, as usual, we will be having two factors, two or more factors in factoring polynomials. So, what are what do you think are the steps in getting the factors of a certain polynomial by getting common monomial factor? Now, we will answer that question. So, by this example, math lovers, 18xy minus 3y, first, uh, let us say or let us recall first the previous factoring techniques that we have. Do you think this is a simple trinomial? Let us evaluate. How many terms do we have? We have the first term, the second term. So, meaning to say, it cannot be a simple trinomial. Another factoring technique that we had discussed was a factoring difference of two squares. Let us try to evaluate. Is this a perfect square? 18xy. 18. No. Is this a perfect square? It's not also a perfect square. Difference, yes it is. However, we are not uh, getting the difference of two perfect squares. Therefore, it is not an example of a difference of two squares. Rather, we can factor this by getting the common monomial factor. So, how do you think are we going to get the factors of this certain pol uh, polynomial? So, it's not a simple trinomial and it's not also a difference of two squares. So, we do not have a choice but to get the factors of this polynomial by getting the common monomial factor as I've said earlier. So, how are we going to do that? Simply, we're just going to consider both the terms that we have. We have here two terms. This is binomial. This is a binomial. So, we just have to consider the terms and try to uh, identify if there is a common factor among the numbers and the variables here. So let's consider first the numerical coefficients. We have 18 and 3. Thinking about 18 and 3, do you think there is a common factor between 18 and 3? Yes, we have a common factor or factor between 18 and 3 and that is 3, right? So 3 is the common factor between 18 and 3. After considering the numerical coefficients, we are now going to consider the variables between the terms. We have here x, y, we have here y. So what do you think is common between the terms? Yes, of course, we will have y and y here therefore our common term or our common variable is y and we combine the two numbers the common factors we have three and y therefore this is now considered as our common monomial factor we have three y so after we get the common monomial factor we're now going to get the other factors so how are we going to get this factor so simply, we're going to divide that one here. We will have 18xy divided by 3y. The answer is 6x. And next, we will have negative 3y divided by negative, uh, I mean 3y is equal to negative 1. And after that, we will have now our final factors. We'll have the first factor, 3y, times the other factor, 6x minus y. Now, to check if our factors are correct, all we have to do is just to distribute this one here. We'll have 3y times 6x equals 18xy. Next, 3y times negative 1 we will have negative 3y. So since we get our original polynomials right, or polynomial right, meaning to say our factors are correct. Okay, but lovers, now let us have another example in factoring by getting the common monomial factor. So we have here our second example. We have 15x to the power of 4 minus 5x cubed plus 20x squared. So let us try first to evaluate if what kind of factoring technique can we apply upon having this example. 
So first, I discussed or we have simple trinomial. Do you think we can consider this example as a simple trinomial? Let us count first the terms. We'll have 1, 2, 3. There are 3 terms, meaning this is a trinomial. But can we consider this as simple? Of course, we cannot consider this as a simple trinomial. Therefore, we cannot apply these steps in having simple or factoring a simple trinomial. Next episode that we have or discussion that we have was factoring a uh, difference of two squares. Is this a factoring or is this a difference of two squares? Of course, it is not because there are three terms. Therefore, we cannot consider this as a difference of two terms. Therefore, we can therefore or we can uh, factor this by getting the common monomial factor. So let us try to consider the terms. We have here three terms. So as I've said in the first example, in getting the common monomial factor, we're going to consider the terms and get the factor, the common monomial factor among the terms. So we have here the three terms. First, consider the numerical coefficient. We have 15, 5, and 20. So among 15, 5, and 20, what do you think is common? Yes, of course, the common number is... Five. Yes, we have five. And after we consider the numerical coefficient, now let us have the literal coefficients. We have here x to the four. We have x cubed and we have x squared. So what do you think is common among the three variables? So what's common is the variable x, and we're going to consider the exponent or the lowest exponent, which is two. So that's why we have here x squared. And thus, five x squared is our common monomial factor. After that, we will have the next factor by division. So we are going to divide 15x to the fourth divided by five x squared, of course, that is equal to three x squared. Next, negative 5x cubed divided by positive 5x squared so the answer is negative x next we'll have positive 20x squared divided by 5x squared so that is equal to positive 4 therefore we have these two factors the quantity of 5x squared times the quantity of 3x squared minus x plus 4 so as for this moment, we're just going to end up here. If we're going to look at our factors, we have two factors. So this is 5x squared and it cannot be factorable anymore. Next, we have 3x squared minus x plus 4. I tell you, math lovers, this is still factorable, but we'll just end up right here and we will discuss this one to our next episode. So for now, we have here our factors by getting the common monomial factor. Let's have the review by distribution 5x squared times 3x squared equals 15x to the 4. 5x squared times negative x equals negative 5x cubed. 5x squared times positive 4 equals positive 20x squared. And so, that is how we're going to get the factors of this given polynomial. Okay, math lovers, let us have example number 3, still unfactoring by getting the common monomial factor. Our example is AM plus 3AN equals our factor is the quantity of A times the quantity of M plus 3N. So, this is not a simple trinomial and it's not also a difference of two terms or two squares. So, we're going to get the factors of this given example by getting the common monomial factor. Consider the terms. We have two terms, 1 and 2. Look at the numerical coefficients. We have here imaginary 1 and we have 3. So, common factor is 1, so we do not have to write 1 since we can have it as imaginary. Next, we will consider the variables. We have here AM and here we have AN. So, what is common? Common is, of course, the variable A. So, we have A here, and that is our common monomial factor. To get the uh, next factor, all we have to do is to have division. We will divide. So, AM divided by A, the answer is M. Next, 3AN divided by A, the answer is 3M. So, that's very easy because this is just an easy polynomial. We have now to check our answer if the factors are correct by distribution or multiplication. A times M equals AM. A times 3N plus 3N equals 3AN. So our factors are correct. Don't forget to have the steps 
consider the numerical coefficients, consider the literal coefficients, and then divide. And that ends the factoring by getting the common monomial factor. So, my lovers, let's end up our discussion uh, of factoring by getting the common monomial factor right there upon having three examples. Just don't forget to have the techniques or the steps. First, consider all the terms or first and foremost, evaluate if what kind of polynomial is the given. Is it simple trinomial? Is it difference of two terms? Or if not, so get the factors of this of the given polynomial by getting the common monomial factor. So by doing so, we will have to consider the terms. First, consider the numerical coefficients and get the common factor. Next, consider the literal coefficients and get the common factor. After the getting after getting the common monomial factor, you're now going to divide, no? You divide the terms individually and you will get the second factor. And that ends the factoring technique by getting the common monomial factor. The math lovers, I hope you have learned from our discussion this time or our vlog this time. Keep on learning, keep on watching, and be math lovers!